Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I want to talk about the hard parenting days. I want to talk about those days when you feel like you can't do it anymore and you don't want to do it anymore. I've been through a couple of these days recently and so this has really pushed me to really think about how I can get myself out of those really hard moods that I get in, these really hard moments when I feel completely overwhelmed. You know, there's been a day recently when I have, you know, I felt particularly stressed out. I had so much going on in my family, at work, and I was just feeling so overwhelmed. And as the day was passing, I was becoming more and more irritated, less and less patient with my children. And of course, my children, like all children, are very receptive and they could feel, you know, what I was going through. And so they responded like all children do by being more whiny and so this irritated me even more until i ended up sitting on the floor crying and saying i can't do this anymore i don't know how i can keep going on and i don't want to do this anymore like i don't even want to keep trying and so this is what i want to talk about today and i want to give you some strategies about how we can show ourselves more compassion be kinder to ourselves and you know get over difficult days like this by practicing gratitude so if this is something you're interested in i would love for you to keep watching if you're new to my channel welcome my name is soraya i'm a mother of two beautiful children and here on this channel i'm all about mindful parenting children empowerment and social emotional learning so if these are topics you're interested in i would love for you to subscribe please make sure you hit that notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos without further ado let's get started being a mom is definitely much harder than I thought it would be before I had a baby. Before I had a baby, I kind of like, I knew it would be, you know, it would have some challenges. I had heard that before, you know, I knew I would be tired, you know, I knew about all of the physical aspect of it, even though I don't think I fully measured the extent of the exhaustion, uh, but I kind of knew that. But I think what I didn't realize is that through motherhood, and you know, during this journey um, of being a mom and of caring for my children, I would be tested in ways that I had never been tested before. You've got to have so much resilience, so much patience. You've got to keep going even when you have nothing left because your child is there and your child needs you and you can't stop and you can't take a break. You just have to keep giving giving, 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 even when you feel like you've got nothing, nothing left to give. And so there have been days when I just felt like I couldn't keep going, where I just was overwhelmed with so many intense feelings, stress, anger, irritation, frustration, you know, and just feeling like I've got nothing left. Like, that's it. That's it. I hope that I'm not alone and that you can relate to what I'm saying or maybe you've experienced something before. Let me know in the comments below if you have. But so this has really led me to think about how can I bring mindfulness into my life and use this to get myself out of this very difficult moment. And so I really want to share with you how how we as mothers can show more kindness and compassion to ourselves and use gratitude to pull ourselves out of these very dark moments when we just feel like we can't keep going anymore so that we can find the strength to get back on track and so that we can find the strength to enjoy motherhood more. So the first thing, as I mentioned, is that when I go through these times, I really try to give myself kindness and compassion and remind myself that these emotions that I'm going through are normal. They are a normal part of the human experience. In fact, there is wisdom in them. There is a reason why God has created these emotions and why God is making me go through these emotions. 
There is wisdom in anger because without anger, I wouldn't appreciate peacefulness. There is wisdom in sadness because without sadness, I wouldn't appreciate joy. There is freedom in stress because without stress, I wouldn't appreciate serenity. And when my children and my husband see me vulnerable, they learn that I need kindness and patience and compassion too. And when I do make mistakes, when I do yell at my children, when I do say things that I regret, when I do things that I regret, repair can happen. I can ask for forgiveness. I can talk about it calmly with my family later on when I have cooled down so that we can unpack what happened. I can calmly express my needs and feel heard and listen to my children and my husband's needs as well and make them feel heard as well. I can talk about my triggers and teach my family what I need in order to feel at peace when we are at home together. So the next step to being kind and compassionate towards myself is to practice gratitude. Practicing gratitude is the best way to get ourselves out of intensely negative emotions and to start to see the positive. And so the way that you can do that if you have a young child is through a very simple exercise. So there, if, depending on your child's age, there are two ways you can do this exercise. The first one is if you have a small baby, you can do the thankful walk. And so with this thankful walk, you're going to be walking around your, your um, house um, while holding your baby in your arms against your chest. And if child is a little bit older like mine um, and you can't be carrying them around like that or they won't be that patient, then you can sit down and hold them on your lap and gently rock them from side to side. So as I describe the exercise, every time I say, when you take a step, if you're rocking your child, obviously it will be when you rock them from one side to the other side. So I hope that makes sense. And then if your child is really much older, then you can do the thankful walk without holding them, but just thinking about them. So let me tell you how it works. So the first thing is, as I'm holding my child and I'm walking around, I start to focus on all of the physical things that my body is experiencing. Maybe I feel the cold floor under my feet. I feel my clothes against my skin. I feel the weight of my baby in my arms. I feel their hair tickling my cheek. And so as I focus on these physical sensations, slowly I turn my focus to the emotions that I feel inside of me. Naturally, as a mother, when I hold my child close to me or when I think about my child, I experience a wide range of emotions. And this goes from joy to worry, to frustration, to happiness, to excitement. And so I take the time to unpack all of the emotions that go through me as I'm holding my child close to me. Then every time I take a step, I think about something that I'm truly grateful for about my child in this instant. And so I keep repeating to myself phrases like, I'm thankful that I can hold you in my arms right now. I'm thankful for the warmth that your little body gives me right now. I'm thankful for your little breath right now. And so think about things that you are thankful for in this very moment and express that gratitude with every step that you take. Once I have expressed all of my gratitude for my child in this very moment and for all of the things that my child is giving me in this very moment, I start sending both of us well wishes. Motherhood can be such a trying and challenging time and it's important to remind ourselves to wish us well. And so with each step that I take, I send well wishes to myself and to my child. I say things like, may we be happy, may we be healthy, 
May we have a stronger bond with each day that passes by. May we be patient with each other. May we sleep well tonight. And finally, for the last stage of this exercise, I shift my focus back to gratefulness and to all of the things that I'm thankful for that I have learned in this journey of motherhood. All of the things that having this child has brought into my life, all of the positive learning, all of the growth. And I think about specific examples of things that have learned or some growth that I have experienced as a result of becoming a mother and of having this very young child to care for. This is an exercise that you can do when you are having a hard time, but also when your child is having a hard time. I have made an entire video about co-regulation and how you can use your own state of calm to calm your child. It will be linked in the description box below and somewhere here on the screen. But basically the idea is that if you do this exercise and slowly through doing this exercise of mindfulness, start feeling more calm and at peace yourself, a lot of the time your child will co-regulate and so they will calm down because they are feeling how peaceful and calm you are yourself. This is co-regulation. And the last thing that I do after I have showed kindness and compassion to myself, after I have expressed gratitude, is remind myself of my mission statement as a mother. I made a whole video about how I created my own parenting compass, how I determined what my goals were as a mother, and to be linked in the description box below and somewhere on the screen, but I highly encourage you to check it out because it's so important that you determine what is your family mission statement? What are you trying to achieve as a parent? Um, and what is your goal, you know? And reminding yourself of your goal, reminding yourself of your mission can help you find the strength to get back on your track, to get back on your feet, to continue this homeschooling journey, to continue this motherhood journey, to go, there, go over there and soothe your child, even if they've been crying for two hours straight and you just feel like you can't take it anymore. But reminding yourself of this passion that you have, of this mission that you feel in your guts that you know is what you're here on this earth to do that you know is why god has sent you this little soul to look after and you know this is what you're trying to achieve as a mother will give you some strength and courage back and so when i'm going through these hard days i remind myself why i'm doing all of this i remind myself of where i'm going and looking at where i'm going helps me find the strength to take you know more steps to get there so i hope that you have found this video helpful if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in my next video